is good, everybody? Welcome to an epic mind. I don't know what the... Uh, uh, the raspiness of the throaticus trying to take me out here, trying not to let me do my intro. I'll show you. What is good, everybody? Welcome to an epic mind. I am Toys Video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I have a very special video right here. And before we even get into it, I have to give a huge shout out to my man Chase from Burnout Inc. If you guys have never seen Chase's channel, he's not as active as he used to be. I think he's trying to make a return very soon, so definitely go subscribe to his channel. Link in the description below. But he has been, uh, he was a huge inspiration for me before I even started my channel. Without Chase, there probably wouldn't even be an MDT. The length of the pick fed, the way that, you know, we pay attention to the details and stuff like that. He is the same way about his stop motion and his presentation, and he really wants to give off a real life feel for his stop motion creations and his videos, and he's very, very talented man. And I want you guys to go check out his channel and follow him on Instagram because he is the absolute best. He is very good at stop motion. His, his videos are very entertaining. You need to go back and watch his older videos because he just always goes over the top with it, and he is an absolute boss. And he's been my friend for a little bit now, maybe a couple years or so in this community, and for Christmas, he wanted to send me a gift. I didn't know what it would be, but I unwrapped the box. I, I should have done a My Damn Hauls on it, but it was the only package I had, but I figured I could do a review of it. Guys, you guys can see in front of you a custom-built Triple H throne here in the present here, and this thing looks incredible, man. I'm super excited. You guys can see we have the Elite Triple H sitting there. He's got his helmet slash crown on there. I am very, very impressed with the craftsmanship of this thing. There are a few pieces that kind of broke off that I'm going to have to, like, kind of glue back and everything like that, but I want to take you guys through this and showcase it, and I couldn't show off the throne without the throne breaker, right? We got to have the throne breaker Cody right here, so we have Cody Rhodes, we got Brandy, we got Dustin back there. I'm pretty sure this is the match where he wore this attire. This is the attire he wore when he uh, did the throne breaking scheme at, uh, what was it, Double or Nothing? So, for Cody and Dustin's rat, ratch, what are you doing? For Cody and Dustin's match at Double or Nothing in Las Vegas, this was a part of the, uh, you know, part of his entrance. He came out, he had that beautiful freaking coat on, he had Brandy, he took the sledgehammer, which is right here, and he hit the throne and smashed it and the smoke came out. I thought that was a brilliant intro. It's kind of just saying, like, we're here, bro. Like, saying, like, AEW is on the map and we're ready to go, but I'm just gonna get Triple H out of the throne here. You guys can see he fits perfectly in there, and we're gonna go through this thing, so let's get back. We'll also do some throne breaking moments or something, but you guys can see here it has these sticks right here. I think these are just your simple dowels, and he painted these brown at the end of them. He does have these custom skulls, or not custom skulls. I'm pretty sure these are just little skulls that he got at Hobby Lobby or a Halloween store or something. He, like, removed the heads of the skeletons and put them on there. I don't know how accurate the throne is. I'm pretty sure it's pretty jump on accurate, though, because that's how good Chase is, but it's got this other dowel. It's got a, like, nice brown color going with it. It also comes with these two separate skulls that you can kind of lay around. Like, I can put them on the arm here, or I can lay them at the base down here, and I can do all that kind of cool stuff right there. So that's pretty cool right there. I like that a lot. Another part that came with it is this sledgehammer, like, hammer head, or whatever you want to call this. You guys can see the details right here. Look at the wood grain pattern that he painted on there. It's got the steel painted on there. It's got the hammer top right there. The wood grains. He's even got the silver details of the bolts going into the hammer. And then he has even this little mini skull right here that he kind of sculpted out of the foam, I think. He may have, I don't know. He may actually, I think he took some actual epoxy and sculpted this skull on here until it hardened is what it looks like. And then you guys will notice that the handle is missing. Now this is where I'm a dumb idiot, stupid moron jackass, idiot, 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 idiot. So when I first got this, I was looking in the box. I was like, bro, what the hell? The, the handle's missing. Oh no, the handle fell off. I can't find it. And even up to about to record this video, I was gonna say, Chase, I think the handle's missing. But then I realized, because I'm a dumb idiot moron, you take a sledgehammer and you slide it up into the hammer to create an even bigger hammer. Now that right there, if that ain't innovation, Brad, I would have never thought of that. I would have been stupid as hell. Or I would have just glued that up in there. I guess you still could, but I probably would have, like, I, you know what my stupid self would have done? He made it so that it could be interchangeable. Like, if you want a regular sledgehammer, and then you could just put the head of it over it. That is genius. If you guys were wondering what this pink stuff is, this is pink insulation foam, and pink insulation foam is what this whole 
whole thing is made out of, which we'll also get into in just a second. But if I were making this, I'd be a dumb jackass. I would have cut it off right here and then just shoved it up into the foam like a dumb idiot. But see, Chase is a genius and he is very uh, crafty. So he made this hammer right there. And if you guys want to see what the hammer looks like in the hands of a figure here, let's go ahead and stick this into Cody's hands just because obviously this isn't the one that he was using when uh, he broke the, the, the John Brown throne there. But so there you go. Looks pretty damn good. I think that's impressive. I like the way that looks and everything like that. So we're just going to let Cody hold on to that. And he looks like a psychopath. So we're just going to stick with that. So like I was saying, guys, this thing does deconstruct and it's made out of pink insulation foam board. And if you guys did not know, my Royal Rumble stage is actually made out of pink insulation foam board. And I'm going to go ahead and grab that. If you guys remember the Royal Rumble stage that we got that we made for the MDT Royal Rumble. So pretty much this whole base over here was made out of pink insulation foam board and pretty much what well I guess it wasn't the pink kind it was the light green kind or the whatever the hell color you want to call that so basically people build dioramas out of these so you can make stages out of it you can make whatever so really talented people I've made my own before but people way talented way more talented than me in this area you take this the pink insulation foam board and you can customize it you paint it up make it look like concrete and then you can add details like this cut out here you can make bricks and so and then you just magnetize the whole thing together you guys can see the magnet on the bottom here these are the walls for the roadway you guys remember the royal rumble f it but anyways that is what this whole thing is made out of this is the part that i have to re-glue because it kind of came disconnected right there but i guess if you wanted to turn it into a regular throne i guess you could just remove that right there or maybe he did that on purpose so you can make it a regular throne okay that's connected so this iron cross back here is connected but i guess you could make it your own other throne if you didn't want these in here but you can remove these these have the triple h iron crosses they have the little divots in there and stuff they're not magnetized or anything i could glue them if i wanted to the throne does uh, does not separate from here so i guess you can't really deconstruct it but this part does disassemble from the base so you have your basic steps right here leading up to the throne he double stacked it right there it's got the iron crosses on it plenty of details in here he did a really good job painting it it does look like concrete it looks really really good looks very similar to al's figures or al figures who made my royal rumble stage which i'm still just in love with i love that thing to death i want to i for my damnation we're going to make some immaculate ass stage so wink wink christmas 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 not my damnation but christmas not the pay-per-view but christmas merry christmas took from me to you but as you guys can see here i am really impressed with it you got the arms coming up on there and everything like that on the back it is just solid pink i guess because this is going to be you know sitting on the stage like this or it's going to be resting up against something so you wouldn't need you know you don't need to paint the back i guess i could if i really wanted to it's just going to be a simple gray he said i needed to re-glue this to this i don't know if i will i kind of like having the separate base right there so you can i don't know you could use this for something i don't know i don't know i may glue it i don't know i don't i don't i don't know but i'm really impressed with this man i cannot tell chase enough how freaking immaculate this thing is and how uh just excited i am for this he absolutely crushed it i am in love with this piece and i've had a ton of fun with it just messing around with it it can make for a great mdt entrance can you imagine somebody using this in their mdt entrance i mean triple h isn't in the pick fed but who the hell knows maybe i can use it for somebody else or something like that but thank you so much to chase he did not have to do that i mean that is just so freaking cool that you would send me that man i actually want to see if this will fit inside here as well so we're just going to try and put this there's some bricks in the way though we'll move the bricks out of the way and see if we can get this thing up in here i wish i had time to just build dioramas man that would be super cool you know what just remove the bricks how about that so shove this back up in here it doesn't sit flush really but who cares oh yeah I like the way that looks. You got a lot of, you got a little something special going on there, young man. Then we got to add our skulls. Don't forget the skulls here. So you stick them down in the holes right there, and that sticks right there. And uh, I think this one goes in here. This one goes in here, and then this one goes in here. And then you stick that there. And then you got to put the throne breaker in there. So you got the throne breaker. He can go right here. I don't know, bro. That's pretty freaking badass. If I had like a sick ass Triple H shelf, like with enough width, I would just sit the throne up on the shelf and then have my Triple H there with all the different arrows of Triple H around it. That would be freaking amazing. I would love to see that. We can put the Throne Breaker right there. Then you got Triple H. We're just missing Stephanie, I guess. Stephanie McMahon needs to be up here. There's Triple H sitting on the throne. And yeah, man, that, that makes me happy. But anyways, guys, do not forget to go over to Chase's channel and subscribe to his channel. Follow him on Instagram. Absolute baller. Thank you so much to Chase and a huge Merry Christmas to him. I'm gonna be sending him something as well because this is amazing and I wanted to do something special for him as well. But thank you so much to Chase, man. Merry Christmas. Go 
check him out, guys. I cannot express how thankful I am for this Triple H throne. I think it looks amazing. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. I got to go film some stuff. Wink, wink, Christmas. But subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Oh, my God. I got to do the shout-out. So this shout-out is going to go to Kevin Mallory. He says, every single time he mentions the theme, character was ruined at Hell in a Cell. And I loved that comment because he's totally right. Because I have to get that out there because if any new people come to the channel and they watch my video and they say, you know, why doesn't he like The Fiend? I have to tell them why I don't like The Fiend and why the character was ruined for me at Hell in a Cell. How about that? No, but seriously, though, shout out to Kevin for that comment. I thought that was funny and that is accurate, Brad. That is totally accurate. But shout out to Kevin for that comment. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter by Damn Toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. You crossed the line. I've been